Charlie to Niger channel. Today, this is a really quick one. So I'm going to be showing you how to drape on a skirt. Someone actually sent um, this request to me. So it's really simple and easy. So I'll show you the amount of measurement that I'm going to be using. So draping on a skirt or a gown, you actually um, do it in two ways. You either do it or using uh, the slash and spread method. So do to enable you know how much um, fabric you are going to use or you just decide to do the free hand and method so for this i've decided to you do to do the free hand and method of and draping is really simple and easy and the truth of the matter is at the end of the day both results are the same and it's the end result that matters so i'm going to and when draping on a skirt or a, a gown it's usually good for you to finish actually finish sewing your dress couple it for me I always like doing it that way. With that, I get my measurement accurately. It fits and properly because you can see my skirt is already joined. It's joined together. So I'm going to be opening it before I'm going to be putting the drape on it. So I have um, the fabric I'm going to be using here. I'm going to be using 30 inches by 45 inches. So that's what I'm going to be using. So which is like, uh, it's almost like one yard of fabric, but it's not up to one yard. So that's what I'm going to be making use of. So I'm going to measure how... And uh, where I'm going to be uh, opening on my skirt. So for this, I think I will advise you open, just open a little bit below your your hip line. That's just the down part of your bum. So which I'm going to be using on this part. I'm going to make use of 16 inches. So the drape is going to be coming like this from this 16 inches part. So I'm going to open up this part now. Okay, so you can see I've opened up uh, my skirt back on the sides. That's the inch that where I want. The long part of the drape to be so i'm just going to take my fabric like this so before you you start you make sure that the fabric that you are going to be using make sure you lock the edges that's what i mean by lock the edges that's you fold the edges make sure it is clean does not have you don't have any rough edges and then the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take i'm going to take it like this and then i'm putting it back into this point now so i'm just going to take it so from the open end point i'm just going to to tuck it in so with this when you stitch from the inside you get the accurate um hip line part so you can see what i what i'm doing and then when i get to the top part because my fabric is already folded so i'm just going to take this top part so it depends on how full you want your drape to be so i'm just going to take this um top part you see how i'm like pleating it a little bit and then i'm putting it into this point also so with that, I'm just I'm just going to use my hand just to just uh, to bring it down a little bit. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just going to bring it down a little bit, and then it's going to be sitting like this because I don't want to stitch the top part. I don't want to secure it to it. It will not. It won't. It won't be fine. So I'm just. You see what I'm doing? so with this so i'm going to pin it down like this so you could decide to stitch first or you could decide to just pin it's always good after for you to see your results your end result, like almost the end result before you stitch so i'm going to use pins to secure it down okay so now i have my the side of my my skirt is secured on the side already so like i said you could decide how long you actually want your drape to be on this side so the next thing i'm going to do now the slant that i'm going to be draping it uh, up to i'm going to measure so for mine i think i'm going to use about um from my um, waistline that's from the down part of my band i'm going to be using about six about six or seven inches that's what you could decide to do however you want but for good and result it's good for this side to be high and then the other the top part to be small that's the length so it's, it's, it's usually good and better so what i'm going to be draping i'm going to my drape is going to end from this point to this point which i'm making use of seven inches i'm just going to double check so seven inches is okay okay so the next thing i'm going to start and doing now i'm going to start pleating it upwards so from this point i'm just going to i'm just and take so you can see this is the the point this is my seven inch point so i'm just going to make sure that the first one so you can see you could see the cuff, the way it's coming. So the first um, pleat that I'm going to have is just going to pass um, from the down. That's from my 16 inches on the right hand side coming to the left hand side. So I'm going, I'm going to stop it here so you could see how bent and slanted it is. 
So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a second pleat now. <coughs> so I'm just going to create a second pleat. My pleats are facing upward, so you could decide and where and how um, ever how you want your pleats to be. So I'm going to take the third one. And then I'm going to take the other one. That's the last one. So that is why I really don't advise you secure this side. So it's good for you to use pins to hold it. So at the end of the day, when you are stitching, you are going to follow through the, the pleat. So with that, it makes it actually makes the pleat to sit um, firmer here. So it, don't, it, it will not scatter or lose whatever. So I'm just going to continue like this. Then I'm bringing it to the top. So this is my down part of my waistband. So that's where I'm going to stop it. So it's going to be like this. So you can see on the line from them. So you could decide for this side, you could decide to make it and long. It depends on how and um, how long you want it to be. But my I think I, I prefer the seven inches, I think it's okay. So the next thing you are going to do, so once it's like this, you find that that you have your accurate measurement. So the next thing you are just going to do from this point, like this, you are just going to run a stitch on this line. That's the top stitch, just to stitch to secure it like this so with this you have your accurate measurement it will not be too tight it will not be too loose and then when you take and um, back to the machine you're just going to run a stitch to close up you just stitch on the line the initial line that you actually used in um making so stitching your skirt so you just run a stitch along that line to close it back and then you run a stitch here and then this you have a drop like this so how long you want the drape does this part to be you could determine that so guys so you could see so I'm just going to, so this is just basically, this is just how it is done. So if you find this illustration helpful, please do not hesitate to like this video. You can, you can, you could drop a comment for me down on the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.